Hey guys, it's me, Gerbil Girl, and right now I will be doing my video on how to care for gray tree frogs. So, as you would know, I have two gray tree frogs, if you watched my last video, Puddles and Pickle. Pickles, sorry. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's one on that leaf. But yeah, um, that's, and then there's one right there. But yeah, the, um, so yeah, let's get started. First things first is you will need a heat lamp. Now, you don't always need a heat lamp, but I like to keep one on because it's more safe than sorry. And it's better for them since, yeah, they like to stay in damp places that are warm and yeah. So I have a heat lamp with a clear, I think it's a 60 watt bulb in there. So all you really need is a 60 watt. And yeah, I have them in a 10 gallon aquarium, which is a little small, but for their size right now, it's only like that big. They're only like that big, so that's perfect for them. And always have a squirt bottle because they need to get misted. Um, as you can see, like the walls are, because I just normally miss them about three times a day if I have time. So yeah, I do that about three times a day. I feed them crickets, and they're the small size crickets because they're getting bigger now, so they're big enough to get taken off of Pinhead. I'll show you one. Oh, I should catch them. Okay, you guys don't even understand how hard. I don't know if you can see them. That's them. You can see them in there. I feed them about one of those, and I'm starting to do mealworm breeding. Now I need to get more mealworms. I have less than 50. I need to get like four more packages of them. Um, but I feed them about one mealworm and one cricket a day, or two crickets or two mealworms. But normally I like to keep a variety. So yeah, I'm starting the breeding, but that's mealworms, and these are the pea. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, that's what the pupa is. That's what it looks like. That thing's going to turn into a beetle. And then I'll move the beetles. I will put some oats in there and move the beetles. But anyway, if you guys want me to do a video on that, wait till I'm more experienced. Check out. I watched a video from Beautiful Cereal. I will leave her de, uh, her name linked in the description so you guys can check that out. But that's not really what's important right now. So I feed them about two things a day, either one cricket and one mealworm or two crickets or two mealworms. Normally I like to keep variety, but sometimes I can't. Um, so for things that you need for them, you definitely need um, like a bunch of things to climb on. Like I got this bark and coconut this nice branch that sticks out like that um some rocks for them to hide under there actually is one of them right there and some rocks on the other side because I like to have lots of hides and stuff and some seashells and stuff so yeah make sure you have a lot of stuff for them to climb on because they are tree frogs um they need a lot of stuff to climb on I normally turn the heating lamp off at night um so yeah uh, for substrate I use paper towel that's wet. I use non-chlorinated water. Um, you can get that in bottles, or you can just leave the water out for a whole night, and then it's there's no chlorine in it. But, yeah, I use wet paper towels, the stuff on the bottom. I always have a water bottle, a uh, water bowl in there for them, just in case they get really, really dry, which I doubt will ever happen, because I do take very good care of them. Um, mine are about one and a half inches long, so they get about that big, like maybe that big, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so make sure you miss them a lot. Um, always have a heating lamp if it's possible. If not possible, it's okay not to have a heating lamp. Just make sure your house isn't too cold. Um... I feed them crickets and mealworms. Make sure you have some variety in their diet. And make sure you have a lot of things for them to climb on. And you should be good with them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
I do not leave my water out. I actually have non-fluorinated, non-chlorinated water that I use. It's natural spring water. It's the best that you can use for them. Yeah. I'll show you them. One sec, guys. This is Pickle. He's very fat. He's like a big bubble. Um, that's how small he is. He's about one and a half inches, maybe a little smaller than that. Um, make sure you always wash your hands before handling them because there are oils on our skin that can be harmful to them. Um, the other guy is sleeping right now, but I don't know if you can see him. He's brown. I don't want him to be stuck, but... That's him. This is Petals. Petals and Pickles. When they grow up, I'll be getting them a 20 gallon aquarium. But yeah, he's very active. Yeah. So yeah, there's Petals. And over there is Pickles. Pickles I raised from Tadpole. Um, where'd Petals go? Anyway, Petals I, um, I actually just... Got, oh, there he is. Oh, he's on top of pickles. I got him from somebody. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Puddles and pickles. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.